Rick DeMarco is the lead guitarist of Los Angeles metal band Death Division, who recently were on Gigantour with Megadeth and Black Label Society. We asked Rick how he felt about the tour. Just getting out there every night and being able to play to those huge audiences, like every single place that we played was a huge arena. And this is my first tour, and before the tour I've only played like, I can count the shows on my hands. So uh, playing my first tour, huge arenas, you know, tons of people every night, that, that was just amazing. We wanted to know what he thought were the best and worst parts of the tour. There was uh, this one occasion in Lubbock, Texas, where we had this venue that used to be a slaughterhouse. And so the flies that lived there when the slaughterhouse was there were still there. So in catering, there was just like swarms of flies all over the salad. We called it fly salad that day. That's Probably that and the terrible, terrible heat of summer and being in like places like Dallas and Lubbock and Corpus Christi, just 100 degrees, and you're like soaked before you even get on the stage. Death Division recently released their EP titled 2013. We asked Rick about it. I've got my favorite drummer of all time, Tim Young, playing on it, and one of my favorite bassists of all time as well, Jerry Montano from Dancing and Hell Yeah, and a good friend of mine, Sean Delator, great vocalist. And uh, we recorded the whole thing in Jerry's bedroom and uh, got a friend of his to mix it, did it really uh, DIY, it came out great. And uh, it's on iTunes, and there's actually a, if you don't want to buy it on iTunes, a video of the whole songs on YouTube. The band is managed by Justice Mustaine, son of Dave Mustaine. We wanted to know the story behind that. Tim has a, uh, a mutual friend with Dave Mustaine, who's actually the mayor of Burbank or something like that, <laughs> I believe. And so they're at some fancy dinner, and I guess uh, Justice was there and he gave Justice one of our, our demos, and Justice gave it to his dad, and he was like, you know what, I really like this. And he decided to make Justice start managing our band, and he said now on several interviews that it's one of his new favorite bands, and I'm his new favorite guitarist, and all that, so. Then we asked Rick what bands got him into metal as a kid. Actually, my, my parents always had rock and roll and metal around. My, my dad was big into Guns N' Roses and Metallica and stuff like that. And then my mom, of course, Bon Jovi and like Motley Crue. So I got like both sides of the, uh, the 80s. And then when the 90s came out, I was really into Alice in Chains. And then as metal just started getting more hard, I guess you could say, and like death metal and stuff came out, then I started listening to that and Children of Bodom and bands like that. So uh, it, it definitely started with, with the 80s hair metal though. We wanted to know what's next in the works for Death Division. Well, I really hope that we can just uh, get this album recorded and then go out on the road again soon. After this last tour, I've got like tour fever now and I have to like be on the road. I don't want to be home right now. Finally, we asked Rick what Death Division hopes to get across most as a band. We just want to be like a, a metal band, but a metal band that has songs with choruses because there's a lot of like Cookie Monster growling and and then there's a lot of like you know rock bands that are kind of boring. We want to have like aggressive metal songs, but with catchy rock choruses.